Alright guys, I'm going to show you how I save a Revit model from BIM360 and how I append my current electrical model over it to check for clashes and such. Alright, so I select, I want the plaza level, I'm going to open it. It's going to take a minute. Alright, so we've got loaded, save as, save locally, in which case I'm actually going to save it to a network drive we've got set up, and I'm going to save as an NWD, and so I've got today's date on it, that's one that didn't work right earlier, so I'm going to save over it. And while that's saving, we're going to switch over to Revit and export a DWFX file. And the reason I save a DWFX versus, say, a DWG or NWC, there's a couple benefits. Um, first, it'll export the colors. Uh, if any is colored, it'll export it. Uh, DWG and a NWC file don't export the colors. And this exports much quicker than a DWG or NWC. <coughs> and once my file has uh, once I've up updated my file uh, from Revit when I export and overwrite another file, I can just go into uh, Navisworks and reload, and it'll load it in automatically. All right, so it looks like it's saved. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it as an NWF right now too. So I'll save this right here. All right, so now it's an NWF. Now it's ready to append the conduit file to it. So I go to where I saved my conduit file, and it's a DWFX file. So I type in asterisk.dwfx. It shows me all the DWFX files I have and plaza conduit and that's the one I just made so I'm going to say open I'm just going to bring it in and so it, it brought it in and currently you see I've got some that are yellow and some that are just gray that's because we actually have the so here's the one I, we appended and here's the older uh, conduit file where is it right there that I uploaded to BIM 360 so I'm gonna hide that one all right so now I've got my conduit file in here and basically if I make some changes and want to see how it looks all I have to do is go back to Revit export again save over the old one and once it's saved, I can go to Navisworks and hit refresh, and it'll reload it. Alrighty, enjoy.